We are talking about uh, knowing your purpose by the way of your heart. Looking at the antenna of the heart and how it receives feedback from I don't know where. But for the most part, the heart knows where you're supposed to go. And that's why you get to feel like the heart is not leaning on to something. And uh, maybe you're feeling despondent, you're feeling joy, you're feeling fulfillment. All those things are sorted by the heart. Which means you can go to the heart and feel how you feel. And I know we're not supposed to do life with feelings. We're supposed to do life with faith, apparently. But there is a place for the heart. Do you think that heart was created for, for nothing? There is something about the heart that directs our steps. How can we create? How can we know the purpose that we have in life by the way of the heart? And I want us to discuss these things, even as we've started discussing some of these ideas that you and I need to be aware of when we go to the heart. Reality tells us something else. We need to check the heart still and uh, not be able to give up. So stay tuned even as we look at one more thing today. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. They tell us that uh, when you go to your heart, don't leave your head behind. Go together with the head. Yesterday in the episode, I think it's one of the most powerful episodes I've done. Okay, that's just being subjective and just... But I felt this thing. I felt this thing because, first of all, I did not mean to say or I did not set out to say what I did. But I think it was just pulled out of me or I just pulled it out of the spirit, spiritual realm or the divine realm. The idea that sometimes we go into the head before we can listen to the heart and quantify and clarify what the heart is telling us. And we listen to the head more than we listen to the heart, yet the heart is the one that is connected to the divine, which is connected to what we are purposed to do in the first place. So we ignore our purpose because, number one, we said yesterday, it's what? It's too expensive. We don't have the resources. It's too impossible. You don't have the resources to pull it off. So if you don't have the resources to pull it off, something tells you that it maybe it's not something that you're supposed to do in the first place because you don't have the resources to pull it off. That's the first reason we looked at. We should learn to stay in the heart and clarify with the heart because at the end of the day, we have a head the purpose of the head is not to figure the what and the why. That is the purpose of the heart. The purpose of the head is to figure out how it's going to pan out. The heart delivers to the head the what and the why. The head has a business of doing the how. Now the thing is that if you make a decision with the how... And you forget the what and the why, that's where purpose gets aborted. So number one, you might not have all the resources needed when the heart communicates to you, but that does not mean that it is not your purpose. Today, let us look at number two. Number two, you might not know the full extent of how the purpose is as of now. 
you don't know how many people will be impacted you don't know if it's going to pan out or if it's not going to pan out and and so on i have just come from interviewing having a very wonderful conversation today with a lady called lena mirembe ah my friend there were a lot of goosebumps even as I was doing this uh, conversation with her and she is doing something that is connected to the heart and she tells me three times three times there was confirmation from different people in terms of dreams you see the heart is also in those realms of the dreams and the visions and and all that stuff we need to believe these things because at at some point in time there is validity in it and she tells me that she had a dream about a plane cargo someone else told her they have all the dream and what what lena is building up you guys are going to listen to this conversation in the month of july 2022 the last wednesday of july 2022 is going to be epic check it out i think it's going to be episode number uh let me see it's going to be episode number 1139 1139 check it out at whatever pl- place you're listening to this she is talking about not knowing the full extent of what she is doing right now but she knows that it cannot fail she knows that that is what has got to be done it is about africa and books and authors and publishers having their content in an app that is like amazon but it is based in africa and we can buy our own african books and we can sell our own african books and we can earn from there from that particular platform and it cannot be pirated and our books are copyrighted and all that stuff it's massive and we thinking if we can just have you know things like kenya competing against nigeria in terms of how many authors are on african africabooks.com or rwanda competing with uganda or how many readers in fact this this thing of best seller lists being generated african best seller lists this is a massive project now the point is that when she was conceiving this thing she did not know the full extent of the heart the full extent of the project sorry when the heart was telling her that this is the thing to do that's why you and i got to believe the heart and let me tell you this it's not that the heart doesn't know it is just just that the head cannot decipher at the moment the heart knows that this is what has got to be done and this is why is going is got to be done and it is going to be massive it's going to be big such that right now if i told you you'll even walk away you know believe it but the heart knows the heart knows the heart knew when steve jobs was uh, contemplating apple building apple the heart knew it the head didn't the heart knew the extent of how apple is going to pan out same thing with bill gates same thing with every big major corporation that you see out there the heart doesn't the heart knows the extent but cannot tell you that's why it's just hinting to you you need to lean into this you need to lean into this i don't know what project is that you're doing right now and probably it feels like there's nothing to it no money has come out no impact is coming out and so but the heart has been telling you that this is what to do you probably do not know the full extent and you might not even know the full extent of how it's going to pan out it is not up to you and i know sometimes we sit down and we say what is the projection of this it is not up to you at this moment in time when it comes to downloading your purpose from your heart it is not up to you at this moment in time to know the full extent of how it's going to be you will never know i mean he would have never known in 1970 or in 1980 uh, steve jobs if you asked him that apple is going to be can apple be a trillion dollar company he will never know he will never know if you told him that he's going to make uh, cell phones and smartphones the first company in the world to make smartphones he will never know if you told him that he's going to revolutionize iTunes i mean music and 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 many other things he will never know but at that moment in time when apple was being created he just needed to lean into what their heart was telling him and the same thing with you and i my point is if you are looking to understand the full multimedia red colors and blue colors and white colors and all the rainbow color spectrum before you can launch you will miss out on your purpose i dare say that as you respond to the grip of compassion in your heart or whatever it is that the heart is communicating you might very well have opened the door towards your purpose 
You might not know, but you might very well have opened that door. Purpose is seldom downloaded at once, but it has hints. This idea, and I used to do this a lot. I used to sit back and tell God, I want to know why you created me. I am not moving an inch. I used to dare to pray like uh, Moses. Moses said, God, we are going nowhere. If you're not going to go with us, we're going nowhere. <laughs> and I try to do that, the same thing. God, I'm not going to do anything until you tell me. Open the skies and tell me exactly why you created me. Tell me. <laughs> I realize. <laughs> I realize one thing. You know what I realize? I realize purpose is never downloaded at once like that. It is always incremental. Your part and my part is to be faithful with the hint I have right now. Right now, I know I've, I've got to do episodes on, on the podcast. I don't know where it's going. But I know uh, sometimes I feel like giving up. I feel like I'm putting in a lot of money in this thing and I've never gotten... It is three years down the line, a thousand episodes and there is nothing I'm getting out of this thing. Once in a while, people tell me, oh, your episode has blessed me and so on. But I'm getting nothing out of it. My, my point at this moment, my mandate is to be faithful to do this. This is what the heart is telling me. Do it. Every single day, Lawrence, do it. Make sure you do it. Right? One day, mark this episode. This is episode number 1089. Mark this episode. Probably we might come back to it. One day, I will come back and I realize, hey, wait a minute. I was faithful. What the heart told me to podcast, I stayed with it. I did not know the full extent of how this thing is going to look like. But look at it now. The same thing that those guys of Zoom, Zoom, the one, the conferencing app, huh? they leaned into, into the heart, but they could never, in their wildest dreams, they could never have projected that there was going to come a month or a particular year in 2020, a particular month, that their listenership, the active users, their DAO, daily active users, will skyrocket by 300,000, okay, 300% in a day. You never know the extent of what this thing is going to look like. You will never know. You will never have an idea of the extent. But the heart knows. The heart tells you, do it. You just do it. The clearest door to purpose is something that your heart is resonating. Your heart is telling you. Your heart is giving you feedback. So I see some of you have a friend called Nirere and she's doing um, Izere education. And uh, sometimes we communicate and she tells me how, you know, it is tough. There is no money coming in, but it's something to do with kids, educating kids in a totally different way and building up their confidence and building up their self-esteem and telling them, teaching them how to use their hands and teaching them how to be solution thinkers and design thinking and she's doing all that stuff. It's valuable, so much valuable. Right now, Nirere does not know the extent of her heart. I mean, sorry, the extent of her startup but the heart does know. The heart has an idea. She could give up at some point in time. But the heart knows it. The worst that she can do is to give up. But my point is that as long as she knows it is in her heart, that's what she wants to do. As long as she knows and she cares about it and she feels strongly about it, let her do it. Let her be faithful with it. Our point is to be faithful with whatever our hearts have been beating about. Whatever matters to us, let us be faithful with it. Because at this moment today, I don't have the extent. We don't know the extent of how big it's going to be, how impactful it's going to be, how transformative it's going to be. We don't know. But the heart knows. Just that the heart will not tell us. What the heart is telling us is this is the what... And this is the why for you do it. So have an open mind even as you do this. Well, tomorrow we are going to look at one more reason as to why you should listen to your heart and you should not give up. 
and how you can continue discovering the purpose of your life by the way of your heart. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.